for a walk. pack is about 60 pounds and it is fairly heavy but I think I have the weight pretty evenly distributed so um, feels good on my shoulders and you know the, the padding here is pretty intense and that back panel too uh, from the last video I showed you on my uh, get home bag it's uh it's comfy so Hey, let's go. Come on. Let's go for a walk. He'll inevitably have a ton of stickers in his feet by the time this is through. So we'll have to stop. Do a little Manny Petty. Just fine. This is a lot more full than it's been lately which is really good to see because as you know we're in hell of a drought so that's nice I mean I haven't seen it die in a really long time you want to swim in it mom would be pissed at both of us go um I uh listening to uh, Prepping by Faith this morning. She uh, had a video. I think it was something along the lines of Are you prepared? She was talking about um, you know, basically my, my take was do you practice what you preach and um, and then also she talked about fear and how prepping is a good way to not be in fear and uh, you know I had a conversation here with another member of the community who's saying that like physical preparedness right now is probably one of his most important um focuses and I myself have also been trying to really make that a priority you know and drinking less those two just don't go hand in hand so uh, yeah I mean getting out here carrying this heavy pack around for two miles when I have to do 60 or 70 because I work pretty much 53 miles away and uh, that's as the bird flies on the highway um, which is not even close to come on let's go this way not even close to what I'm going to be doing on the way way back but kind of thought about it and um, that's why I got you know, a bicycling map for bike trails. And I'm basically going to try to have to stay off the main roads as much as possible. Um, which is why it's going to be about 70 miles, not 53. I tried to also think, like, how many miles a day that I think I'm going to do. Sinking. If I really get at it, I could probably do about 20 a day. Um, but I think 12 is more reasonable. So a three-day pack is going to be uh, extremely heavy in the beginning. And probably get light pretty quick as a good portion of what's on my back is water. Um, some of that's for food. And then about 
two liters of it for drinking. And hopefully there's water along the way that I can refill. Um, but you just don't know. I'd like to know what you guys think. You guys think 20 miles a day is a little grandiose? I mean, I'm not sure what the average walking pace is. But... Figure if you're walking 12 hours, that you could probably get a mile per hour. So 12 seems realistic, but I'm probably gonna be walking more than 12 hours, my guess. And this is like, shit has gone real bad and I need to get home, you know. I think walking during the daytime is pretty plausible. Um, but then I think maybe after the first three days, you know, maybe walking at night might be more realistic. Let's jump over this stuff. Come on. Got a little rock barricade here. <laughs> oh man, he's having a great time. How you doing, Major? How you doing? He's done. You're already done. Take it off my back, put it in your belly. Good boy. Beautiful day. All about practicing what you preach and also just practicing seeing what two miles feels like with a 60 pound pack on. And then uh, multiplying that by a lot. Just like 30 miles, two times 30 miles probably. I don't think it'd be easy, but if you're trying to get home to your kids. I think anything's possible. Random. Yes. What? That was definitely not the greatest.